Probably one of the most frequent questions that I get is how to buy Bitcoin or how to buy a specific cryptocurrency. And I could see people have interesting expectations regarding my answer and they got disappointed. I invite you to talk about all that as well as 7 ways to buy and sell Bitcoin. and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and this is the fifth of a six video series regarding Bitcoin. We've also covered what is Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining, nodes and lightning network. If you haven't seen them, please be sure to check those videos too. Today we cover the topic people are most interested in, how to buy and how to sell Bitcoin. I will tell you seven different methods with advantages and disadvantages and you will see what my preferences are. But before that, let me clarify another thing. People often ask me how to buy Bitcoin and that is cool. But I also used to get the question about a legit trader. By legit trader, people understand someone to give money to you as a sort of investment. They don't necessarily want Bitcoin exchange, but some sort of well, interest or dividends based on what the trader chooses to invest in. Not a really bad idea from a business's point of view, if you ask me, but still there are some issues with this approach. First of all, the whole idea of digital assets is that users have the money in their own hands. So if you buy Bitcoin, there shouldn't be someone between you and your Bitcoins. You get rid of the bank, but you have another corporation to manage your money? Well, this is not the idea of cryptocurrencies. Despite this fact, let's say you just want to invest in digital assets because you've heard this is a good opportunity. And you don't want to do anything about that except for paying some money. The main problem with this approach is related to regulations. Cryptocurrencies are not regulated almost anywhere in the world. This means that if you give someone money for digital assets, there is no stable law to protect you against frauds. So alleged trader, alleged company that would make crypto transactions on your behalf and pay you some interest or dividends, well, there are a few, but nothing stable in my opinion. Besides that, the crypto market is super volatile, the domain is still young and way too unexploited. Dedicate some time to learn about the market and make your own trades, and it's not a lot of time, believe me. I don't think you're that super important and super busy business person that doesn't have 4 hours in order to learn the basics of trading digital assets. Just give up some Netflix time and get connected to this novelty that can really change your life from many points of view. But if you still don't like my arguments and you absolutely want to outsource your Bitcoin investment, I would tell you to try eToro or something similar. On eToro you have the possibility to copy other traders' transactions. This way you will copy his gains and loss, so this is somehow similar to having a legit trader to follow for your investment. That being said, let's see 7 ways to buy and sell Bitcoin on your own. My first method is exchange platforms that offer fiat to crypto transactions. This is probably the most common method people use and in my opinion this is the best. You can make a free account on such a platform, complete some KYC procedure, deposit fiat and trade. KYC procedures are mandatory for fiat to crypto trades and this is completely understandable from my point of view. As long as you have nothing to hide, I don't believe there is a problem in providing personal data about you. Providing this information is regulated and the exchange has to keep it private. On the market, you'll probably find two types of such exchanges. For most of them, you can deposit fiat and trade the pair your fiat bitcoin. You can set the price for a trade or you can buy at the best price of the market and so on. There are also exchanges that sell you Bitcoin for a specific price. In other words, you cannot control the price for your trade. When you deposit fiat, a transaction for Bitcoin will be automatically made at the best price of the market. In my opinion, both methods are fine, just have a look at the fees. Now, how to choose the best exchange? I highly encourage you to use a local exchange if you have one. They probably have the lowest fees on the market. And you have support in your native language. And believe me, solving an issue in your native language 
is very important. I'm from Romania, Europe, and I use a local service provider for my fiat to crypto transactions like Roy Exchange. If you're from Europe, probably you can use it too. Another option is to use big international exchanges. The first one on my list is Coinbase. They have a bot for all KYC procedure, and this means that you can probably make a fully tradable account in less than 30 minutes. They have low trading fees and no deposit fees, and they offer you both possibilities mentioned earlier. Earlier. You can buy Bitcoin for a fixed price on Coinbase or you can trade on Coinbase Pro, which I like and recommend. The transfer between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro is free of charge. But Coinbase is not available everywhere, so another option is Binance. I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you that I've never used Binance for fiat to crypto transactions. But I could see they have introduced a few months ago the possibility to buy digital assets using either your credit card, either through a bank transfer. I highly encourage you to have a look at all these four methods. I also encourage you to have a look at the fees as you can see them before finishing any sort of trade. Binance is the biggest and most trusted exchange platform from the market. For the USA, there is another option that I like although I don't have access to it. The USD markets from Bittrex. I like this exchange, although it is not so big and so offering as Binance. But if you are from the USA and you don't like Coinbase, have a look at this one too. What you have to take into consideration with these exchanges is to transfer your bought Bitcoin into wallets. The exchanges provide wallets as you buy Bitcoin, but if you don't do daily trading, I highly encourage you to move your Bitcoins in a wallet that you completely control. Changely is the second option on my list. Changely is an exchange, but having a Bitcoin wallet is mandatory when using this service. On Changely, you will probably find one of the easiest ways to buy Bitcoin with a credit card. You don't need an account, all you have to do is to follow some simple instructions. But you have to know that the fee per transaction is 10% and no less than $10. Third, services integrated in crypto wallets. The most modern and upgraded crypto wallets offer you the possibility to buy Bitcoin directly from the wallet. This is a sort of all-in-one, buy and safely store your digital assets. I find it really cool, it is easy to use and account free and sometimes all you need is a phone connected to the internet. But again, simplicity comes with bigger fees. Just be aware of that. Some examples that offer you these possibilities are Coinomi, Trust Wallet, Guarda, and Abra. My fourth option is Revolut or something similar. Revolut is a service for currency exchange with low fees and they have added the possibility of buying cryptocurrencies. The buying process is extremely easy and you can use your bitcoins in order to pay for different goods or services like Uber for example. But you cannot withdraw bitcoin from your Revolut account. You can just buy, sell, hold and eventually use it. If this is what you're looking for then Revolut might be a great choice. Another option to buy bitcoin is by making direct trades with other users. Local bitcoins is a service that connects users from the same area that want to buy and sell Bitcoin. You connect using the service, then you meet the person, exchange Bitcoins for fiat and that's it. In my country, the smart guys from VTrader plan to launch a mobile application that will allow you to exchange funds with persons from your contact list. It's a sort of local Bitcoin, but it is entirely done from your phone. I find it pretty awesome and I hardly wait for them to launch it. I don't know if it's gonna be international, but if you know something similar, please let me know in the comment section below or send me an email at infocryptoland at gmail.com. The sixth option is to sell goods or services in exchange for Bitcoin. If you sell things on eBay or similar local services, you can ask Bitcoin in exchange and not your local currency. If you have any sort of shop, you can also accept Bitcoin transactions. And I highly encourage you to do so. At the present moment, there are many people that sell things online in exchange for Bitcoin. The last method from my list is by using ATMs. You can find on this website all the ATMs that are in your area. Just take into consideration that you will need a Bitcoin wallet for that. There are limits regarding the amount of money you can exchange and probably you need to provide some personal data. For example, in my country, the limit is around $600 and you have to provide a copy of your ID. This is all for today. The next week we will end this Bitcoin series and we will be talking about wallets. I really hope the information here was useful for you and if you have any questions 
questions or additional information just let me know in the comment section below. Also please give me a big thumbs up so I know you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so you help me spread the information about cryptocurrencies with the world. My name is Christina, thank you for watching.